So it's cherry season. And we decided to fly to Montana and keep an eye on Grandma so our parents could come down here for the cherry harvest. Grandma, your babysitter's here. I don't need a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> so this just turned into a vacation. Dun 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 dun. Bam bam. <laughs> <laughs> So my parents have a beautiful ranch that's nestled in the Bitterroot Valley. They have various types of livestock and a Yorkie pro. That really is a 3D toilet seat cover. Amazing. The first night we got settled in and I made some seafood tacos for the family. We watched a lovely sunset and got a good night's sleep. The next day, we ventured out to see the pristine lakes in the area. In 1896, silver and copper magnate Marcus Daly built this Victorian-style mansion as his summer home. Today, visitors can walk the grounds and take a guided tour. On our evening drives, there was beauty everywhere we looked. My favorite excursion was the Garnet Ghost Town. Now we don't like to look like tourists, so we had a couple thrift stores to get some outfits, and we blended right in with the locals. Let's try that again. That's a little better. Uh, no. Uh, see, you don't even have to try. Well, hey, pretty lady. What can I get you? You. All right, it's time to get the car and go home. Lee Warren Metcalf was an American lawyer, judge, and politician. He was a member of the Democratic Party. He served as a U.S. Representative and U.S. Senator from Montana. And he was a conservationist, and this preserve was named after him. We met a nice park ranger who allowed me to help catch, or shall I say lasso, samples from the lake in preparation for third graders that were coming for a field trip. You didn't even have to get out of the car to see various types of wildlife. They were used to human traffic. Some of them were just showing their ass. My first margarita in Montana. It was time to go home and we said goodbye to the Bitterroots. And the pig said, and the chicken said, and the cow said, and the Yorkie Poo said, and my parents said, Don't come back now, you're here. <laughs> <laughs>